Welcome to our night routine. Most of our evenings look pretty much the same. I try to start making dinner during Cooper's late afternoon nap, which is about 4 or 4.30. Tonight I am making these honey garlic Asian inspired meatballs with a side of rice. And to my surprise, it was actually pretty good. It was better than I expected. I'll link the recipe down below in case you want to try it. But just a little disclaimer, I never actually follow a recipe. I just kind of glance at them for inspiration and then do my own thing. But I'll still link it down below in case you want to try it too. While dinner was cooking and doing its own thing, I was able to tend to my sourdough starter. Today was day two, so I did not discard anything. I just added 50 grams of water, 50 grams of flour, stirred it, and I'm gonna set it on my counter. This is my first time, but I will link the directions I'm following in the description below, so if you wanna try it too, you totally can. Whenever Zach gets home from work, he's always pretty eager to see a little Cooper. Sometimes he's still napping, which can be such a disappointment when you haven't seen him all day. But Zach always takes him if he's awake to spend some time with him, and it also makes it easier for me to finish dinner. We are trying to be more intentional about eating dinner together. It is pretty challenging these days. We tend to just pass Cooper back and forth and that's working for now. We're definitely looking forward to the days where he can eat dinner with us. We should start to be able to introduce food here in the next few weeks, so we're pretty excited about that. For the rest of the evening until bath time, we just spend some time together as a family. We take the dogs out to play. They definitely still need their attention too. And then we just relax. We all need time to sit back and relax at the end of the day. Bath time is the start of the most important part of our night routine. Cooper has really been fighting going to sleep at night, so having a routine has been really important. Giving him a bath relaxes him, and once we have a nice, fresh, clean baby, it is time to feed him. Something that we are really adamant about doing is his final feeding is in the dark, and we keep it boring from there. We try not to have the TV on, and we just try to set the tone for going to sleep. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, but we are doing it anyway just to have that routine so then he knows that it's time to go to sleep. Well, that's it for our night routine. Once Cooper goes to sleep, we typically go to sleep too. So we will see you tomorrow.